hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video tutorial I will explain in Django rust framework how to display multiple models in a single view and here we got the final output what is the head axe the table employee which is a table name table 1 model 1 and table 2 which is a model 2 is a sports table this employee and sports table is displaying in a single view page using Django REST framework. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before creating a new Django REST framework, first we'll check the tables which are, the, which are our models. The first table name is the sports which contains two columns, sport ID and sport names. And the second table is the employee table which contains four columns employee id employee name email and salary now my aim is i'll create two models for these two tables after that i will consume the two tables into a single view page in django rest framework so let's create a new django web application before creating a new django web application first we'll create a new folder so I'm creating a new folder in this e drive. Right click the mouse, click new and select folder. And the folder name is REST Framework Multiple Models. Multiple models. Let's browse this folder. Right now this folder is empty. Now we'll create a new application in this folder. I'm using Visual Studio Code to create a Django REST framework. But before that, we need to add our web project folder which we have created in the E drive. So, for that, open file and select open folder. The folder name I have created in this E drive, and this is our folder name. I have selected that one. Click select folder. And here, our folder is successfully added to our Visual Studio Explorer panel. At the right side, we got the welcome page. Let's close this welcome page. Now we'll create a new Django web REST framework in this folder. For that, go to View and select Terminal. And here we got our Terminal, which which is nothing but a PowerShell or Command Prompt. And also, if you notice the path is the E drive. This is our the folder name. So now in this folder, we'll create a new Django REST framework application. Uh, Django hyphen admin stock project. And the project name is multiple models multiple models is my application name click enter so here our application is created successfully let me expand this application if you notice in this application contains one same folder name which is a subfolder and one manage the file python file let me expand this subfolder also now when the subfolder contains some default python files settings.py, urls.py, all these files and folders has been created automatically when I create this application multiple models. So after creating the application, now we'll write the coding part. Now I'm selecting the subfolder of our application to add the models page. So I click the mouse, click new file and the file name is models.py, enter. And here we got our models.py. Usually the models page is nothing but a class which contains the properties in the table name. It's a POCO class. So let's define uh, before creating a class, let's define the necessary class name from django.db import models. After that, we'll create our first model. In our table, we have two class uh, tables named. First, I'm creating the employee table. So let's copy this one. You can give any class name just for the remember. Uh, you can give any class name here, employee model models dot model column. Now let's add the properties. In employee table, we have four columns: CMP ID, MP name, email, and salary. Let's add those all columns to create a properties. EMP ID is equals to models dot integer 
field and the integer field is the primary key is true now the next one is employee name is equals to models dot car field let's add the length of this car field is 100 let's copy this one email salary after that we'll add the meta class column this meta class contains our table name so db underscore table is equals to between double quotes we'll add our table name is the employee let's copy this one and paste here after that we'll create another model so again let's define a class called our second table name is a sports table so let's add the sports model models dot model colon in this models table contains two columns sport id and sport names sport id is the auto gender column so let's add that one also sport id is equals to uh, models dot integer field max underscore length is equals to 100 and the second one is a sport names sport names sport names is equals to models dot carefield uh, careful max underscore length is equals to 100 here this is the integer field the sports id the integer field the data type is it's a primary key true primary key true that's it let's define the meta class here and db underscore table is equals to let's add our table name which is a sports that's it we have created two tables in this model after that let's save this file now we'll add the serialize class right click the subfolder click new file the file name is serialize.py enter now in this serialize.py contains all the models and fields so before that we need to import the necessary classes from a rest framework import serializers after that we'll add the classes the model classes also from the models page is inside our application name multiple models dot models import uh, first one is the employee model comma and the second model name is a sports model after adding our two models in this serialize the pivot page next we'll define the class called serialize object serialize uh, class define a class called serialize class so here we'll add serialize model class model serializers dot model serializer colon let's add the meta class here meta colon and this meta class contains a, a model model is equals to first i'm adding the employee model and the fields is equals to i'm adding between underscore double scores again double underscores now let's create another class because we have two models we require two serialized classes so class serialize uh, let's give a proper name um, emp serialize let's give this emp serialize and this one is a sport serialize and serialize serializers dot model serializer colon class this class is a meta class the model name it's a model is equals to the model is a sports model and we require the fields also fields is equals to between double quotes underscore underscore all that's it let's save this file now we record the views page again right click the subfolder click new file now the file name is a user py 
Now with this views of PY contains the actual logic to create the API. After that, we'll create will consume that API. Both the logics will add in this views of PY. But before that, we need to import the important classes. First, we'll import the models classes. So from uh, my application name multiple models dot models import the class names first one is employee model comma and the sports model after that we require the serializers also again multiple models our application name dot serialize import employee serialize comma and we require the sports serialize also the sports serialize and emp serialize after that uh, let's define the function define the function uh, show multiple tables is a function name multiple tab multiple models let's do the multiple models is a function name which is a request column now this function will access the model objects so first emp object is equals to employee model this class name will call this objects dot all method then we require the sport object sports object is equals to sports model dot objects dot all after that we'll create the objects for the serializers so emp serialize serial uh, after that We'll add these variables, the uh, object model variables to the serializer. So let's define the serialize EMP serialize object. EMP serialize object OBJ. OBJ is an object name. So EMP serialize. This EMP serialize contains EMP object. This object I'm adding here. Comma. Uh, many is equals to true. true then we require the sport serialize object is equals to um, sport serialize class name sports object sports object many many is equals to true after that um, now here the trick is when we want to call the models the multiple models and display into a single view so the view is here the function name so we are concatenating the two models so here the result model result model is an object emp serialize object dot data plus sports serialize object dot data so here i'm concatenating these two serializers these two serializers contains this emp object and sports model objects also then this function return uh, then this function return response so we require one more class name here from a rest framework dot response import response let's add the response or capital here response uh, result model result model that's it now to make this function the rest framework we need to decorate with api view underscore view so from rest framework dot decorators import api view the api underscore view class decorated with this function at api underscore view between square brackets and between single quotes i am adding the method called get method that getting the records that's it let's save this file this is our api now we need to configure the urls to browse this api from dot import views come to the url patterns path between single quotes 
let's add the uh, two morals is a api name comma views dot views dot our function name which is a show multiple models let's add the comma here that's it let's save this file save all now we require the settings of viewer and the settings of viewer come to the bottom install underscore app single quotes the rest underscore framework framework comma between single quotes we'll add our uh, this uh, application name multiple models then come to the templates come to the database section if you notice the databases the default engine is a sql like 3 but our database is my sql and the name of the database let's select this default database name we'll add our database if you check our both tables i have created in the line database see the employee table also is in the line database so let's add the database name is lion after that we'll, we'll add the authentications let's add the user call root comma and the password colon comma username and password here i'm leaving the password is blank because i don't have any password to log into my php my admin database if you have any password please enter your password here between this part uh, single quotes next we require the host also so the host is a local host and we require the port number of our database give a rt port colon to find out the port number of sql is uh, 3308 let's add that one 3308 and we require the options colon between curly brackets in it I'm initializing the command colon between double quotes. Let's set the SQL underscore mode is equals to between single quotes strict underscore trans underscore tables. Let's close with the comma here. That's it. We have configured our connection string in this settings of your And remember, we need to add these two applications the rest underscore framework and our application name this one i'm adding here let's save this file that's it up to now we have just finished to create the api now let's check before consume this api we'll check this api is working or not the rest framework is working or not switch to the terminal in the terminal we'll add our application name to the path so here cd smaller smaller cd multiple model sender then we'll run the sunbar python manage dot py run server enter see after i run the server we don't have any issues in our application and below that we got our up server link let's browse this control plus mouse click so here we got our application and we got the page not found because we have added the url is two models the web api name is forward slash the two models the page name api name enter so here we got the two tables as displaying in this api model now the next step will consume these two two models or two tables in a single view page in the template so let's switch over to the coding part and now let's add one templates folder to our application select the application i click the mouse click new folder the folder name is a templates enter and here we got our templates now in this templates contain all my html pages so here i'm adding one html page click right click the mouse click new file index.html and here we got our index.html now before adding the html coding part in this page let's consume the api first this api for that we require one more def and def and def show models show models is my function name 
request column now first i'm requesting this api so it's a uh, result api is an object request us so we require here one more uh, class here import request us so this class name will add here request us dot get method i'm using get method between single quotes i'm adding our api url here then um, this api i'm adding with the json the format is a json format so here the json object is equals to result api dot json method after that uh, what we'll do is we'll render this application after that this function return i want to render our html page so we require one more class from django dot uh, shortcuts import render class let's add here return render request in single quotes i'm adding index.html comma now here i'm adding the dictionaries to fetch the records from the two models so between curly brackets between double quotes the first one i'm declaring the uh, emp employee it's a json model name the key here employee model colon and the values we are getting from this json object comma now the second uh, dictionary key values is a sport model colon json object that's it let's save this file after saving this file and now in the uh, settings of py come to the template section in the settings of py in the template section directories os.path path dot join method i'm joining my templates folder with the base directory so here i'm adding the base directory comma but in single words it's a templates let's save this file save all now switch over to index.html we'll write the coding uh, designing part let's add the html code here doc type html i'm closing the html tags then we'll add the header section in the header section i'm adding the title tag multiple models in a single view then after the headers i will add the body tags in the body i'm adding the center tags in the center tags i'm adding the headings h1 how to create multiple models instead of writing the same thing let's copy this one and paste here h2 django rest framework after that i'm adding horizontal line after the horizontal line i'm adding the table uh, this table contains uh, border is equals to one about table tag i'm adding one more header section h3 is a table uh, employee table it's a model one model one uh, table um, this table contains tr and table headers employee id employee name email salary after that i'm adding your for loop so in curly brackets percentage percentage for uh, emt model 
in I am adding the views here employee model the EMP model is an object here so let's close up for loop percentage percentage and file now TR table data table data I'm adding the expression between double curly brackets EMP model EMP model dot EMP ID the column names I'm adding here these column names I'm adding from the employee table EMP ID next column name is EMP name PD employee model EMP model dot EMP name TD again between double curly brackets EMP model dot email the last TDs between double curly brackets EMP model dot salary that's it the first model name let's copy this one add horizontal row and this one is cable uh, sport and this is model number two and the sports table contains two colors sport id and sport names so let's add the headers sport id sports id and sports name we don't require this email and salary let's delete that one so instead of emb model i'm adding sport model in let's add the value key value from this views page sport model copy that one and paste here uh, sport model sport model the object name i am adding the column name the column name is a sport id so we need to add the exact column name sport id let's copy that one and paste here let's delete this email and salary this one sport model dot and uh, sport names copy that one and, and paste here that's it we have created two tables which are the model one and model two in a single view page let's save this file save all we'll check the output Control c how we forgot to add the url here path within single quotes now this path is our the default page of our website the web, web application views dot our view name is show models copy that one and paste here that's it let's save this file save all now we'll run the application python manage.py run server so after i run the server we don't have any issues let's control plus mouse click to browse the application so here we got the model one and model two two tables and if you notice here in the model one below that we got three uh, empty columns for this model one table and in the model table two we got some empty spaces empty rows because if you check in our views page we are concatenating we are combining the two models so that's the reason all the tables the two tables are joined here so the trick is to remove these empty rows from this table i'm using jquery functionality so when we are implementing the jquery we require the latest jquery cdn link for that let's search for latest jquery cdn google enter from the search results i'm selecting the hosted libraries let's browse that website in the google hosted libraries notice in the library section we've got the script tag which is our the latest jquery cdn link the version is 3.5.1 let's copy this code the tag and switch over to our index.html and add between the header section after the title tag 
After that, we'll write the script, the snippet to remove the empty rows from the tables. So inside the script, dollar document document dot ready function now in this ready function dollar between double quotes i'm adding the td because the td columns we don't require here the tax here td the element name td here dot each function I want to remove the empty rows so this TD is in every table the TD is a subfolder a sub element of the TR TR rows so I want to remove the TR rows from the table if this dot inner text triple equals to empty then I want to remove this dot remove this dot closest method the closest method is a tr the closest tag for the dd is a tr only that tag I want to remove using the remove method let's close with semicolon that's it let's save this file save all so basically in the script i have written what are the table data rows is empty in the tables i want to remove those empty rows from the table that's it so let's check the final output now let's reload the browser so notice here we got the new output we don't have any empty rows here this is a model one the employee table and the model two is a spoke table for example if you want to add uh, the spot name which is a model two in the spot one table td emp model dot uh, the spot names so notice here when i save this file now i'm reloading the browser see here the table is not displaying because if you check in our models we don't have any the sport names here so what are the properties we are defining in these models those only it shows here in this index.html which is a view page so let's see this file i'm deleting the sport names from this model one Save the file. Let's reload the browser. And here we've got the final output. What is the header tag? The table employee, which is a table name, table one, model one, and table two, which is a model two, is a sports table. This employee and sports table is displaying in a single view page using Django REST framework.